Okay, that means it's done. It's done. The brown is done. The brown is done. Yes. Wow, sounds exciting. Just 20 minutes. It's done. Try Lovely. it out and let us know if you enjoy or not. Sado chocolate brownie. Wow, you see, it's ready. Very nice. It's you like hot brownie? Nice. I like mm, cold brownie. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. I like it hot, and it's, it's hot right now. It just come from the oven. Very nice. Ready? Very nice. You should try this at home. Are you ready? Today we are going to make sourdough chocolate brownie. Let's see the ingredients. It's already ready here. Okay. So this is 180 grams of unsalted butter. 180 grams. Okay. This is 240 grams of light brown sugar. I like to use brown sugar because it gives uh, better flavors to the dessert. Okay. More character. This is 300 grams of chocolate, okay? Uh, I usually That's 70%, use, uh, 74%. Chocolate which is uh, at least about 50, okay? Mm. Depends on uh, what you like. If you like it more dark, you can choose 74%, 55%, whatever you like, okay? But for brownie, I would like to be more chocolatey, so at least 50% or above, okay? This is a mixture of 50% and 74% because this is what available at home, okay? This is cocoa powder, 60 grams, okay, organic cocoa powder. So, 8 grams of salt. What makes it so special is because of the sourdough starter we are using. This is made by organic rye flour, found in the UK, okay. This is 180 grams of rye flour. The sourdough starter is also 180 grams. And we have to use a lot of eggs, actually. We have to use six eggs, six eggs plus three egg yolk, okay? So the first step is very important to, to boil the butter into boiling hot. And then we melt the sugar in the boiling butter. So to give the brownie a nice shiny coat at the top. So let's do it. Yes. You know this is a this a sourdough chocolate brownie has become our signature of the family. Yes. You know why? Because we always give people sourdough chocolate brownie and they are very happy to receive it and to eat it and to share with people around them. Yeah. We have become the brownie couple. <laughs> so let it melt. But be careful not, uh, not to burn uh, the butter, okay? Not to burn it. So on low flame, basically. Medium. Medium mm. is fine. But make sure it's very, very hot. Mm. And then you can melt the sugar. Let's mix the dry ingredients. Dry flour, 180 grams. Sixty grams of cocoa powder. Eight gram of eight grams of salt. We use paint salt. So when the wet ingredients are ready, then you can mix with the dry ingredients. Then this way you can make sure that everything is mixed properly. Yes, perfect. So put it on the side. So as you can see, the butter has completely melted and it's very hot. Okay, now put the sugar. Mix it.
and let it melt for some time. Now I have switched the stove to almost minimum, okay, to avoid it from burning. So in the in the meantime, because we're just waiting for the sugar to melt, so let's do the eggs. Six eggs and three egg yolks. So we always surprise people by sharing sourdough chocolate bun because they have always heard of sourdough bread but they have never heard of sourdough brownie so Correct. sourdough dessert is uh, more special Oops. so don't forget the last three we only take the egg yolk okay <laughs> okay. The sugar has melted, see? It's like this, it's like a paste. Okay? You can't see the granules anymore. Now we put the chocolate. So be very careful when you melt the chocolate because we don't want it to burn, okay? It has been low flame. Yes. And keep stirring. Switch it off, okay? To be safe. Because this pot has to cool down anyways, otherwise you will cook the egg. And that's the last ingredient going in. Yeah. On the on the flame. Yes. So butter, sugar, and then chocolate. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to beat the egg. It's a very dense dessert. We are not expecting the brownie to raise too much, so we don't have to beat the egg too much. It's just to give it a little bit of blending, okay, of the egg yolk and the egg white. It's not like the egg that you have to beat the egg uh, until it comes up. It's not like that, okay? Just mixing is fine. Like this. It's done. You see the chocolate? Almost completely melted. So once everything is completely melted, let it cool down, okay? Because this is going to be mixed with the eggs. Thick. Yeah, there's no pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've tried this before. This mm. is already very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> this can become an independent dessert Except, uh, actually. You, maybe you freeze it. Yeah, and you put it in use it eat it with cream or whatever. Yeah. Milk or cream. It will look like ice cream actually. You freeze it. Mm. Good idea. Okay, we're going to mix egg and the sourdough starter, okay? So I will put the, the technique is that you put a little bit of egg, egg in the sourdough, sourdough starter first. Make it a little runny. Mix it a little bit first mm. instead of pouring the whole thing because it will be difficult to mix. So always put less liquid to mix with sourdough starter. 
so that they will mix properly. Once this mix properly, you can blend together with the the whole portion of the eggs. Okay. So this starter, you can use uh, either active starter or sourdough discard. Both are fine. I tried both. Okay. Just that if the starter is too active, maybe you don't have to wait for too long before you bake the brownie because we don't want it to raise too much. You want the brownie to sit properly in the tray and be a dance boy. Okay. That is completely mixed. Now I pour the whole thing in egg. Now this, te this texture is very easy to mix. As you can see, all the ingredients has been mixed in separate portion. Okay, butter, sugar, and chocolate. We have to wait for it to cool down, and then mix with the egg and the sourdough starter. These are all the dry ingredients: cocoa powder, flour, and salt. Okay, you can also put vanilla extract if you like. So we just need to wait for it to cool down and then mix them together. Cool? Okay. Yeah. So this is cool down now. This mixture is very important this step, okay? Otherwise the egg will get cold <laughs> before you bake it. Okay? So now you mix these two together. Okay. So as you can see, this sourdough chocolate brownie is basically about mixing things in a specific sequence, okay, and temperature. So, and proportions. Yes. You stick to that and then 100% is success, okay? Just mixing. So as you can see, this is the pot that we use to melt the butter sugar and chocolate together so just that you can think about uh, not using so many containers so you don't have to wash too much mix okay so now we're mixing the wet stuff with the dry stuff yes and um, but remember not to over mix okay once it's mixed finish and don't touch it too much Make sure that you mix it properly. See? Wow. Nice. So, it's very important to put this baking paper at the bottom because for the first time I didn't put it. So, it doesn't turn out good because the brownie has to raise a little bit. When it raises, and if this is not non stick enough, it will stick to the bottom. So, it will break it in the middle. Mm. So, this paper is to prevent brownie from breaking in the middle when it raises oh. because this is totally non-stick so this procedure is quite important to have a perfect brownie okay it's just a safety precaution <laughs> okay but if you have a very very non-stick pan then i think it's fine mm. okay, or you maybe oil a little bit okay everybody loves brownie and then when you share brownie with people they usually don't eat too much because it's very very dense. So 
So even a small portion is enough for the whole family to have happiness and fun together. Yeah, and then you can keep it. If you make a batch like this, you can keep it in the freezer oh, yes, also yes. for a long time. Yes, for a long time. You can freeze. You can separate into portions, uh, the size of a gift, and then you can uh, defrost it when you give it to your neighbors or friends and family. So we did it all the time. Yeah, we do it all the time. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm just spreading it. I get a shape. Even. Mm. So it's flat. Yes. So this sourdough brown wheat actually is not a very scientific uh, sourdough baking. Okay. We basically keep it outside for like 30 minutes to sit for some time. But uh, don't keep it for too long otherwise it becomes very sour. Yeah. The main idea is that instead of having completely just flour yeah. uh, brownie, half of it is using sourdough starter and yes. half of it is the flour. Yes. The idea is to replace half of the flour Correct. with the starter. Correct. Okay. I love it with ice cream actually. Brownie and vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Or brownie with heavy cream, double cream. Very nice. You like brownie just brownie, right? You don't like to put any nuts. Yeah, we don't like it with nuts, but you can put nuts. If you put nuts, I think it's better to push it at the bottom, isn't it? Yes. So that, so that it won't burn. So that it won't burn. Yeah, middle. Push it in the middle. Okay. Okay. Now we wait for thirty minutes and then put it in the oven. Cool. Preheat one hundred and seventy degrees Celsius. Okay. So I will check after 20 minutes and put uh, chopsticks inside. Let's see if it comes out clean. Okay. Oh. When it comes out clean, that means it's cooked. Okay. If it's not yet done, then you cook it longer. Okay. okay? Let's check. Let's check the brownie. Ah, nice. Uh, inside, it comes out clean. Okay. That means it's done. It's done, the brownie's done. The brownie's done? Yes. Wow, sounds exciting. Just 20 minutes, it's done. So, it depends on the thickness of the brownie, okay? Wow, you see? It's ready. Ready? Is that right? He's very, he's very lucky because his wife loves to cook. I also like to, I also cook a lot of stuff. Ready? <laughs> Try. Very nice. It's he likes hot brownie. Nice. I like mm, hot brownie. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. I like it hot. And it's, it's hot right now. It just come from the oven. Very nice. Mm. Well, I'll tell you how I will eat it. This is nice as well. But to enhance it, this is cream made at home, which is basically a lot of milk getting evaporated and turning into cream. Can I see so what is that? What is that? What is that? Just cream. Homemade cream. Homemade cream. Completely homemade cream. It takes few hours to make that small batch, okay? Yeah. It's we've, very got a, we've got a, another video about this also. It's called Malai. Mm, in, it's called Malai in yeah. India. Yeah. And then, to make it a little more interesting and spicy, we put cardamom powder in it. Cardamom powder? Mm. Nice. Just put a little bit of cardamom powder like this so that you don't drop the whole thing inside. And then you just sprinkle it basically with cardamom powder. It's very nice. Okay. Let's try now. So cut it and use some cream like this and ready? Mm. Mm. You can put some nuts also in it. Cashews. Cashews. Pistachio. Mm. Hazelnut. Whatever nut you like. Yeah. And if you have hazelnut, uh, what is it thing? You used to get the paste? Oh. Nutella. Chocolate. Nutella. If you have well, Nutella at home. Make it sweeter. <laughs> but this mm. brownie is not too sweet. Our, yeah. our recipe is actually mild. Mm. 
very nice you should try this at home thank you for watching the video thank you for watching the video we have a lot more other videos about me cooking just uh, as like everybody else says so subscribe and like and share okay share the fun bye 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 thank okay. you thank you try Lovely. it out and let us know if you enjoy or not sourdough chocolate brownie all right thank you bye 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 bye